guys, this is Miss Kish, and today we are talking about science. We have been talking about kinds of land. Today we're going to switch and start talking about kinds of water instead, okay? So before we talk about kinds of water or bodies of water on the earth, I want to read a story to you. It's called A Cool Drink of Water, and it has some beautiful photographs in it. These are all real photographs. Um, showing water, okay? I know the um, bubble is a little bit small, so I'm going to do my best to show you the words, or read the words and show you the pictures, okay? Somewhere right now, someone is drinking water. Water is very important to us, isn't it? We have to have it to be alive. Scooped from the river. Drawn from a well caught as it drips from the roof. Here's the well. <laughs> Holding it the wrong way, sorry. From fountains. From pumps. Straight from the tap. I'll make a separate video of this and put it in the read aloud folder too so you can see it better, okay? Stored in the shade in cool clay pots, chilled in a pitcher of ice. In buckets. Brass pots. Plastic jugs. Caravan cans. A cool drink of water. Squeeze from a bottle or a burlap bag. You know you can have a bag of water. Sipped from a thin tin cup. Shared in a family, shared with a friend, a cool drink of water. Everyone, everywhere. A nice, cool drink of water. It doesn't matter where you live, right? Everyone needs water to survive. Water is very important. So we're going to start talking about some bodies of water, okay? Kinds of water, kinds of water that we find on the earth. Okay, so the first body of water that you can see here is a river. Come on, oh no, 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 hold on friends. There we go, there we go, is a river. Rivers are a body of water that are flowing. The water is flowing and it's flowing downhill, right? It's flowing from higher land to lower land. It doesn't always have to be much, much lower. It can be just a little lower and the water will flow down. All right. Um, we think of rivers as being maybe um, skinny. They can be winding or straight. The water is finding the easiest path to flow downhill. Okay. Um, rivers have fresh water in them. Um, can you think of any plants or animals that might live in a river? I'm thinking of turtles. I'm thinking of fish, maybe frogs. Um, there's definitely usually plants maybe along the sides of rivers because they can get their water from the river, right? This river right here, this is the Red Cedar River. This is in East Lansing, and this is at Michigan State, so that's a river, right? And then this other river, um, I'm not sure which river this is, but it's a nice picture from above, and you can see how rivers can be winding, right? And they're flowing. The water is flowing and moving. All right, so when we think about rivers, we're going to use our arm. And we're going to kind of do a back and forth waving like this, like a river is flowing, the water is moving, 
okay? Okay, the next one is a stream. A stream is a lot like a river. The water is flowing, it's flowing downhill. A stream is just smaller than a river. Okay, so this one kind of looks like a river, just not as big. Okay, it's smaller. Streams can often start in mountains if snow is melting and the snow is melting and moving downhill, right? It's starting to flow together into a stream and then sometimes streams join together and end up forming a river. All right, so there we have some streams. So if this is our river, our stream is kind of the same, but it's smaller, it's smaller, okay? All right, oh, this is one of my favorites. Move out of the way again. This is a glacier, say the word glacier. A glacier is kind of like a river, except the water is frozen. So here in this photograph, you can see this is the glacier right here. It looks like a river, right? It looks like it's kind of skinny, um, but it's actually the water is frozen, okay? And here is that this part is melted, okay? So this is actually just unmelt or unfrozen water. So second graders, um, it doesn't seem like glaciers move, right? Because they're frozen and we could think of our signal as kind of being like the river, but still like it's frozen. But actually glaciers do move because, um, as it snows, more is a more um, water and ice is getting added to the glacier. So a glacier, it kind of seems like it might grow, like maybe this part might end up being frozen later because more ice is being added. Glaciers can also, the, the word is recede, that means they go backwards and that's when some of the ice is melting. So the glaciers are smaller than they were before. Okay, so they are frozen, but they can get bigger or smaller, all right? And they can um, change land. We're gonna talk more about that later. Here's a closer up, close up picture. This one's like from above, right? This one is more at the level of the glacier. You can see it looks dirty, it has so much dirt and um, rocks and soil in it, right? That it's kind of moving along with it. So this is a glacier. So we kind of do a river, but it's still, okay? Even though we know glaciers can get bigger or smaller, they are frozen. So they're a little bit different from a river. Okay, let's go to the next one. Ooh, now we have the ocean. Oceans are our biggest bodies of water, so when we do our action, you guys can't see me all the way, but I have my hands and I'm spreading them out as far as I can. The oceans are the biggest body of water, right? Lots of ocean um, where it meets the land might have sand. Sometimes it's rocky along the edge. Sometimes there are cliffs along the edge, right? So ocean is a big body of water. It is salt water instead of fresh water. So different kinds of plants and animals live in the ocean than would live in a river or a stream because they live in different kinds of water. Just like different plants and animals live on the plains than live in mountains or then live on plateaus. Okay, same thing. If I look, these pictures are from Google Earth. You can see these giant bodies of water are oceans. This is the Pacific Ocean. This is the Atlantic Ocean, okay? And then there are other oceans too. There's one up at the top of the Earth. You can't quite see it up here. It's called the Arctic Ocean, okay? And it's a lot of it is frozen. And then there's the ocean called the Indian Ocean. And then down around Antarctica is the ocean called the Southern Ocean. Antarctica is not an ocean. Antarctica is land. That's why it's a continent. Okay, there's actually land. When we look at it, it looks like there's always just snow. But under the snow is actual land. Okay, so Antarctica is not an ocean. Antarctica has land. All right, let's see here. The next one is the lake. So when I do an ocean, my hands are as wide apart as they can. For a lake, we're gonna make it a little smaller like this, okay? A lake is not as big as an ocean. We know there can be some very big lakes, like the Great Lakes, like Michigan is a very big lake, but it is not as big as an ocean, okay? Like Huron is a very big lake, but it is not as big as an ocean. Okay, so here's the lake. Sometimes if you're at a lake, you can see to the other side of it, 
right? If it's a smaller lake, like if you go to a lake up north, sometimes they are so big that you can't see the other side, like maybe Lake Michigan, okay? These are lakes, fresh water. So that's the way they're different from the ocean. They have fresh water like a river. All right, and then our last one is a pond, okay? So if a, a lake is like this, my hands are out in front of me, a pond is smaller. I might use my hands like this, okay? A pond is a smaller body of water. Lots of times ponds might have things like lily pads. They don't have to, this one doesn't, right? But this one does. Um, and the water isn't moving as much as a river or a stream, okay? In a lake or in a pond, the water sometimes can be more still. It doesn't mean it's not moving, right? It doesn't mean people might be in it and making it move, or rivers or streams might flow into the lake or into the pond, or they might flow out, but it's not flowing downhill so much like a river. A pond or a lake is where there's a lower part of land and water is flowing into it and kind of staying in there because it's lower, okay? All right, so boys and girls, those are our kinds of bodies of water. So let's go backwards and review them. We have a pond, a lake, oops, ocean, glacier, kind of like a river but frozen, stream, which is like a river but smaller, often we have those in the mountains, and a river, all right? Good job today, friends.